Hey everyone, Cole from West Coast Drum Shop here, and today we want to highlight a few snare drums from Greg Keplinger. Now, of course, this is going to be a demo, so we will not be offended if you want to just skip ahead to that. But for those of you that are interested in a little background, Keplinger drums have sort of been Seattle's best kept secret for uh, decades now. A lot of drummers in this area, in the Washington area, are very familiar with Greg and uh, the really cool gear that he's been putting out. Um, but for the rest of you that are maybe a little bit less familiar, Greg Keplinger is a drummer and drum builder who builds not only snares, but also really cool cymbals uh, and um, percussion instruments made out of these very industrial pieces of metal and deliberately kept in a very unprocessed state. Now, Greg Keplinger is probably best known for his snare drums, which were originally produced out of thick steel pipes and cut into snares. And uh, these drums and Greg sort of came into prominence uh, during the grunge era when he was a tech for uh, Matt Cameron with Soundgarden and Pearl Jam, and he was in the studio helping uh, Matt Cameron out during the making of Super Unknown. So these drums sort of gained a reputation as these really no-nonsense, super heavy drums that were great for grunge. However, people since then have really come to realize that these are just overall amazing sounding drums that uh, are great on stage, they're great in the studio. Like I said, they are very, very heavy. They're not heavy because of the hardware. There's actually fairly simple hardware on here, but it's really just the shell, the thick metal shells themselves that make these drums so heavy. And in fact, they're stamped not fragile on the inside. But like I said, these drums are good for so much more than just heavy playing, and I know big fans include Blair Sinta, who uses them in the studio, uh, Mark Giuliana, and then one of the early drums went to Elvin Jones. Now what we have here are three six and a half by 14 models. Um, I've got stainless steel over here, I've got black iron right here, and then I've got brass down here. And these are all very unprocessed, natural, if that's even a, a word that makes sense for metal drums. But you can see little markings and, and smudges, and these are not super highly finished and polished drums, and deliberately so. That's kind of the vibe that we're going for here, and uh, they certainly look the part. These three drums all have 10 lugs, although I know Greg will make eight lug drums. They all have two lugs, triple flange hoops, and Danette throw-offs. And there's really not much else to say about these drums. They are just thick cylinders of metal with hardware put on them, and they sound amazing. So let's stop talking about them and let's hear them.
So there you go. Let us know which one you liked the best in the comments. If you have any questions about Keplinger products in general, also let us know. If you want to order any of these drums, of course you can at West Coast Drum Shop. Just give us a call. Or if you want to special order anything uh, through us from Greg, then uh, just drop us a line. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.